Yo, some light. Slip Pass 57, man. Y'all ready? Yo, it's the end of the week. I'm here to wrap it up right. Talking about game and sports and maybe life. I ain't decide yet, so tune in to the show. Guess the parents is iron? I don't really know. I'm the Paris. I'm here to do it my way. Click, clack, bang on any troll, so don't press play. A new series. I'm wrapping up the week, so comment on the subjects being given. I don't speak. Ah, weekly wrap up. Yo, what's good, people? I'm your boy, Authentic973. I'm your boy, The Past 57, and I'm back with another episode of the Weekly Wrap Up. Got some Titanfall gameplay for you guys today. I was running, running solo dolo. I rode dolo from state to state. Y'all already know. Playing on some of the new maps. I happen to like the new maps. I happen to like the game Titanfall. Now, some of you guys may not, but I do. So, that's why I decided to bring you guys this video. For the wrap up. So with that being said, sit back, relax, put your seat in recline. Let's get into the wrap up. For starters, for starters, I have to talk about this pretty boy felon dude. Not only because it had social media going crazy, but because it had all women going crazy. I'm talking about news outlets was talking about this guy. Good morning, America. It was everywhere. It was all over the internet, all over the TV. All over the um, social websites, all over the world star hip hop, and all type of websites. But do you know women petitioned to have the pretty boy felon released from jail? Now, allegedly, he's in jail for kingpin drug charges, and you know, females are saying that they'll put money on his books. They they petitioned to have him released from jail, saying saying he is too pretty too cute to be in jail light-skinned dude with like blue or gray eyes whatever and females are petitioning to have this guy released from prison because they say he looked too good to be to be in jail and he actually did an interview for some news outlet and said he just want the world to know that he's not a drug kingpin now <laughs> i don't know i don't know if he is or if he isn't but i figure if they got you on kingpin charges They've been watching you for a while. They know what you do. Because they just don't give a small-time drug dealer kingpin charges. In my opinion, I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think about that. But women, should, all you women on social media need to be ashamed of yourself for petitioning to have this guy released from jail. When you guys could be petitioning for something, for women's rights or something. Females don't even care about that. They want to do it out of jail because he look good. So I want to know you guys' thoughts on that. You know what I mean? The females is out there petitioning to have this guy released from jail. Shame on you women. I'm like wagging my finger like tiss, tiss, tiss in my finger paws. And uh, they need to be ashamed of themselves, for real. Let's move on. Let's move on to some sports. Let's talk a little sports. The Spurs win the NBA Finals 4-1 against the Heat. And Kawhi Leonard was named Finals MVP. First of all, I want to say congratulations to the Spurs. It was well-deserved. They came out and took what they thought was theirs from last year. And poor LeBron, I know y'all. I know y'all hate LeBron. Y'all probably seen my "Do You Think About the Big Three? But in my opinion, I don't think it's LeBron fault. A lot of people always blame it on LeBron. They don't say anything about the rest of the Heat. It's LeBron, 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 LeBron. They don't say too much about Wade. They don't say too much about Bosh. You never hear anything about. Well, you hear a little bit about Coach Spo. But I mean, I don't know what else they wanted LeBron to do. Mario Chalmers and the rest of the role players play like. Shit, they plays. They were so cheeks in that series. They didn't even help my man LeBron out at all. Now, I want to let you guys know I'm I'm a Bulls fan, and I have no no stake in the Heat. I don't care if they win or lose. Neither neither the Spurs. I'm a Bulls fan, but the Spurs deserve to win. They was the better team, man. They definitely was the better team. But peep this. Speaking of being a Bulls fan. Melo tells the Knicks that he will opt out, and I just read on Twitter just now that Melo is talking to people in Chicago about how's the lifestyle. So, you know, it's a lot of rumors going around saying Melo want to go to Chicago, the Rockets, um, maybe Miami. We have to wait and see, but I'm hoping he comes to Chicago because we need his scoring. The new releases in some gaming news, the new releases this week is definitely Sniper Elite 3. That comes out on June 27th, and the Transformers that come out on the, I want to say the 24th. So let me know if you guys are picking up that game, them games. Another thing, 
You know, it was a it was a lot of rumors saying should Patty Mills stay or go for the San Antonio Spurs? Should he, you know, leave via free agency or should he resign with the Spurs? This might be Patty Mills' only chance, as you see your boy going ham. This might be Patty Mills' chance, only chance to cash in and get money. So in my opinion, I think Patty Mills should go. You know, Patty Mills is a, a career role player and he needs to he needs to get his bread while he can and it, it ain't gonna it, Patty Mills ain't gonna be hotter than what he is right now. So I will go get my money just like Gary Neal and the rest of those JJ Barea, I can name a few, went and got their money. You know, they they good role players for for the teams that they with, but you know, they went to get their money. So I think Patty Mills needs to go get his money. I wanna know what you guys think about that as well. Another thing, Battlefield Hardline Beta will come to Xbox One before the re before it's released in the fall. So everybody that's on Xbox and want the Battlefield Beta, y'all relax. They said they will be bringing the beta out, you know, before the game come out. So y'all get to try it out as well, like the people over on the PS4. I happen to like I happen to like Battlefield Hardline. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but if you played it, let me know how you feel about it. Another thing. PlayStation 4 is now allowing you to preload games before release. Finally, I'm not going to be downloading a lot of games because I like to trade games in and I buy a lot of games and I like to trade them in. So what I'm what I'm probably going to do is the games that I want to keep. I'm probably going to probably do a digital download, maybe, and you know the games that I want to play and then trade in. I'll just you know buy the hard disk copy. So that's something new that's happening in gaming as well. I want to give out a big R.I.P. to Tony Gwynn. He passed away at the age of 54 due to cancer. Now the major major league baseball are talking about banning chewing tobacco, which should have already been banned. I don't know if you guys are some smokers or chew if you guys chew tobacco, but stop, man. Smoking is a terrible habit, and you guys need to if you do smoke, you need to stop. It's a it's a nasty habit, and it causes cancer, and you can get lung cancer. Tony Gwynn actually had cancer in his saliva gland. From chewing chewing tobacco, like he had cancer in his saliva gland. Excuse me. And by the time they found it, it was too late. And you know, I just wanted. He was a, a phenomenal baseball player, and it's sad to see him go at 54 years old, man. Another thing, it was my birthday this past week. So if you didn't say happy birthday to your boy, this is your chance. It's like nah, but it was my birthday this week. That happened this week as well. It's a steam summer sale going on right now from June 19th to the 30th. Joel and B is out four to six months with a foot injury. The Charlotte Hornets showed off their new jerseys after the name change. So if you a Hornet fan, y'all can go check that out. Chad Johnson caught one pass in his CFL debut. So, you know, kudos to Chad Johnson for going over there. And, you know, still wanting to play football and doing it like that. And Rudy Gay optioned into his option for 2015 because he's going to make $19.3 million for the Sacramento Kings. Wow. This has been a weekly wrap-up. I'm your boy, Authentic973. I'm your boy, The Past 57. Comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate all y'all. Y'all know how I end my shit.